Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss the characteristics of DC shunt motor. By studying characteristics of DC shunt motor, so we will come to know that where does DC shunt motor can be employed. That is the ultimate goal of study in the characteristics. There are three types of characteristics. So we are going to discuss torque armature current characteristics, speed armature current characteristics, Similarly, speed torque characteristics. So these are the important characteristics which we are going to discuss in this video. So first and the foremost, so I would like to talk about the torque versus armature current characteristics. We can write uh, TA versus IA characteristics. IA characteristics. TA stands for armature torque and uh, IA stands for armature current. You can have a note. So we already know that the armature torque, which we already derived in the previous session, 0 0.159 phi into, phi into IA into P Z divided by A. This much of Newton meter. We already studied. From this expression, we can write TA proportional to phi into IA. So in the case of shunt motor, DC shunt motor, flux will be always constant. That concept you have to remember. Therefore, I can write the armature torque is directly proportional to IA. That means both are directly proportional. Armature current and the torque is directly proportional. Suppose if I want to draw the waveform, okay, in the y axis you can draw the armature torque and the x axis uh, you can draw armature current. This is the origin. So since T and I are directly proportional. We can write like uh, the waveforms. The curve will pass through the origin. We are getting the straight line. The straight line. Okay. It's a straight line. Okay. Straight line passing through the origin. So this is actually called T versus IA characteristics. From this, we'll come to know that DC shunt motor is a constant speed motor. It's a constant speed motor. Also, one more important thing, in the case of uh, DC shunt motor, like uh, we should not start heavy load at the beginning. Okay, that's another peculiarity. But in the case of series motor, we have to start certain load and start. The second type of characteristics we are going to discuss, that is, Speed versus armature current characteristics, second one. The speed N, N versus armature current characteristics. So, we need to connect one equation, like uh, the vacuum of VB is given by uh, Zn phi by 60 into P by N. This much of volt. So, from this we can write N is proportional to Eb divided by phi. So, by checking the equation, okay, we'll come to know the flux is constant. Flux is constant. So, the armature speed that is directly proportional to back EMF or we'll write like n, n proportional to instead of EB we can write V minus IA into R correct where EB is known as back EMF V is the terminal voltage R is the armature resistance okay now what we can do is we can draw the waveforms based upon this equation draw the x-axis and y-axis properly okay x-axis 
you can draw armature current in terms of ampere in the y axis you can draw the speed in terms of rpm okay so since the flux is constant also we can say the relation between uh, speed and armature current the thing is like uh, there is a slight droop in like a speed okay as the armature current increases there is a slight drop in the speed where that you can observe so like this you can draw slight drop okay. so this type of characteristic is known as the speed versus armature current this is straight line and there is a slight droop in the speed okay also we can mark this is a full load uh, at this time the load will be 100 percentage load will be 100 percent full load that means full load okay here maximum current will be occurred at that time what will happen is the speed will slightly reduced okay however speed will be almost constant only in the case of dc uh, shunt motor now i wanted to talk about the third characteristic that is uh, speed uh, the speed versus torque third one so please make a note the speed versus torque characteristic so to solve this uh, we need to have like a two equation okay so the first equation i can take the relation between speed and armature current okay so speed and armature current n proportional to v minus i a into r i number one so another equation is t a proportional to i a so by taking care of uh, these two equations equation number one and two we can uh, surely draw the characteristics of the speed versus sorry the speed versus armature current so the waveform will be like this so the x ordinate and y ordinates in the x axis you need to mark torque in the y axis you can mark the speed in terms of rpm the torque will be in terms of newton meter so uh, while plotting the curve, you will come to know that the speed falls somewhat whenever the load torque increases. Okay. So, whenever the load tor torque is increases, the speed will slightly fall down. So, that so we can draw the characteristics like this. Okay. For the, like, uh, what I can say? For the highest torque, the speed is slightly coming down. That is another observation we can make out. <laughs> So, these are the three important characteristics of a uh, DC shunt motor. So, ultimately, the we can write like a DC shunt motor. It's a constant speed motor. Okay. Constant, say constant speed motor. Constant speed motor. It is mainly used for like uh, elevators where the speed uh, require constant. Also, uh, sh we should not start dc shunt motor with heavy load okay we should not start dc shunt motor with high load another important thing is the flux distribution that will be like a constant in the case of dc shunt motor so these are the important peculiarity of a uh, dc shunt motor okay but come the torque we will not get torque that much high compared to dc series motor so these are the conclusion which we can make from the characteristics so in this session i discussed the detailed information about the dc shunt motor characteristics let me know if you have any clarification regarding this topic in the coming session i'll come up with the characteristics of dc series motor thank you for watching this video Happy learning. Have a great day. If you are watching my channel first time, I request you to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.